we have all seen wild devils with tumours and recognise what a devastating disease it is at the individual level. Have you heard about how the pandemic might be inadvertently helping our treasured Tasmanian devil? They need all the help they can get because there's no cure for the deadly facial tumour. So what if a vaccine meant for one could actually help save another? The creation of the COVID-19 jab is helping in the development of a vaccine for devils. I'm here at the Menzies Institute for Medical Research based in Hobart where the vaccine is under development in a lab. Some exciting progress has been made, so let's hear from the experts. So Andy, tell me a little bit about how this vaccine works. So it's very similar to what's happened with the COVID vaccine. So you, you take a, a weak virus, you put in a bit of the coronavirus to make it look like that. The immune system comes in and attacks the vaccine and it also attacks the bit that looks like the coronavirus. In our case, it'll hopefully attack the bit that looks like a devil facial tumour. The development of vaccine technology has been accelerated due to the pandemic. The question now is how do you vaccinate a Tasmanian devil? I'm not volunteering to do it. So there's a strategy that's been used in four or five different continents around the world and it's to put a vaccine in a bait. So we started doing some initial trials to see what bait devils like to eat and hopefully other animals don't like to eat. And it turns out that a lot of animals eat things they're not supposed to eat. That's where the Bonnarong Wildlife Sentry near Hobart comes into the picture. They're experts on these animals. A trial will begin there next year. Look, I guess our expertise comes in in just looking after devils um, day to day and their, their basic husbandry. So Kelly's mum actually died of facial tumour disease, um, so that's why she's here. They're quite sneaky, they can climb a little bit. If you have the wrong walls, they can dig a little bit as well. Wildlife carers have been watching the work on vaccines closely. The level of detail and what they're even contemplating doing, for me, is just absolutely mind-boggling. I mean, she's not going to shut up, I don't think. Making a lot of noise about a big milestone. 